If you're a language student or a language teacher and you're interested in how ChatGPT can help you develop your oral skills, then this is the video for you. I'm gonna show you some incredible things that we can now do with ChatGPT with the 2025 updates. Now, one thing I was recently asked to review ChatGPT and look at it in detail. I actually got paid for this work and I was stunned at some of the things that I suddenly realized ChatGPT can do. I'm going to start easy. I'm going to just show you a few basics. I'm going to show how it gives feedback. I'm going to show you how you can have a basic conversation. I'm going to swap around and use different languages, but then I'm going to open up your eyes to more advanced features that we can make use of that really can impact the way that we learn languages using ChatGPT. I really hope you like the video and as always if you do please like it, please comment on it, please share it and of course join me on my YouTube channel, subscribe to the channel, any of those things will really help to boost my rankings on YouTube. Let's get started. So I'm logged in and please notice I'm using the free tool so I've logged into a free account and notice also these days you don't even need to actually download any app or anything. You can talk to ChatGPT because of this button here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how you can set up to make ChatGPT your conversation partner. You can give the instructions first of all to, to ChatGPT about exactly what you want to do uh, in English or in any language not any language, but many, many languages, you can give you instructions. So I'm going to give them the instructions in English, but afterwards I'm going to speak to the system in Spanish. So I'm going to click on this button here and start talking to the system. I'd like to practice my Spanish. Can we practice as if um, it's an interview situation and you're asking me questions to find out a little bit about myself, where I was born, things that I've done, family, my education, my work history, etc. So that it gives me a chance to answer your questions and to practice my Spanish. And can you at the end highlight three mistakes that I'm making? Is that possible? Claro que sí. Me encantaría ayudarte a practicar tu español. Empecemos. Para comenzar, ¿puedes contarme un poco sobre dónde naciste y cómo fue tu infancia? So you can see it's dived straight into a conversation. Now I want to make the point, I didn't ask it to control the level because my Spanish is pretty good. Well, look at that in a minute. But I want to tell you now that what's going to happen is it's going to start asking me questions and answering, asking me questions and answering. But the interesting thing is it writes it all out so that you can review everything that you have been saying at the end. And I'm just going to quickly show you that now. Before we move on, let me just show you then, once you've had a conversation with the system, notice that it kind of prints it all out. It writes it all up for you. And in fact, you can use this for lots of things. For example, you could get it to highlight certain vocabulary or give you a list of all your mistakes, etc. And we'll talk about that in a minute. But as soon as you finish the conversation, you click on close, you'll notice that it does this. And this is really handy. And not only that, what you can also do is kind of copy parts of it. So you could copy this part here. And in fact, uh, you'll notice you can do the same not only with the question but also with your reply and as I said there are lots of options here now what I want to do is do a second example now but I'm going to do this in French because I just want to show you a few more things and a few funny things that you can also do so I've just clicked on new chat GPT and I also want to point something out to you that's quite funny if you click on here and we go up to the top here. We oh, can good. choose we can you choose different Hi, kind of voice. Hey, I'm ready to hit the Hey, how's it going? I'm looking for Hey, I'm ready to Hi, glad to meet you. Oh good. You found me. Uh yay. So this is really funny that you can choose different kind of attitudes from ChatGPT. So we're gonna go with this one. So what you need to do is click on once you've chosen the voice that you want, click on done. Um I'd like to speak practice my uh, French with you. Uh, is it possible if um, you are, you know, can ask me some questions in French? My level's, level's only about B1, so could you keep the, less, the questions very simple and we just practice speaking a little bit, maybe just asking me personal questions about things I do, my habits, my hobbies, etc. Is that possible? 
Oh, great. French practice. Just what I needed. All right. Let's do this. Uh, comment tu t'appelles? Tu uh, viens d'où? Parle-moi un peu de tes loisirs. Allez, on commence. Ok, uh, okay. Uh, je, suis, uh, je suis anglais. Uh, maintenant, j'habite uh, à Pologne. Allez, je suis anglais et uh, je né à Londres. Je suis né à Londres. Ah, d'accord. Tu es anglais et tu vis en Pologne maintenant. Oui. Intéressant. Now, it's important for you to understand, you can really set the context of what you want to talk about. And my experience is that's a really good way of working. So set the parameters and say, right, uh, today I want to talk about the school system in Poland, or I want to talk, talk about the capital city of Madrid in Spain, or I want to talk about football league in France. So what you can do is by doing that, you're really kind of setting the context for your work. And one other thing that you could do is you could prepare before you actually speak to ChatGPT on that topic. And I've actually worked on that kind of idea where I've done some background study and got the vocabulary together on a particular topic. And then I've spoken to the system. Now, the other thing is that something else that I've learned, when you're working, at the beginning, I told ChatGPT, every time we talk, give me some feedback. It really doesn't work. It could be, it really, what you want to do is concentrate on speaking. And at the end, when you finish, say, OK, can you give me some feedback on the conversation? And I just want to show you that now, because I think it's really important to see that you can do this. Yeah, we just had a conversation in French that was fantastic. Could you just tell me a few mistakes that I'm making when I'm speaking French? Ah, uh, really? You want me to pick apart your French now? Fine, let me give it a shot. But just so you know, I'm so excited about this. All right, based on what we've talked about, it's not terrible, not terrible, but you know, it could be better. Here are a few things that stuck out. One, you to you to respond to casually friends or people you're familiar with, you're dressing up formally, you're talking well, you use loose, it's not as important, okay? Two, word, 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 now, the brilliant thing is, look, not only does it give you that oral feedback, but it also writes up all your mistakes. And this can be really, really useful for you to review what you've done. So my advice to you is just have a conversation. It's good if you choose a certain topic that you want to talk about. Make sure you tell it the level that you've got and, you know, how you want to work. But then don't tell it to give you any feedback. Just at the end, you can say to it, can you give me some feedback on what I've done? And it will be able to work through that text that it's producing, because when you close the window down, you'll see that all the text is there and um, give you some a breakdown of the mistakes that you've been making. So super, super useful. I'm going to show you something amazing in a minute. We're going to jump up a level. But just before I do, I just want to point out, if you want more free videos, come over to teachertrainingvideos.com. It's my website. I make videos to show teachers and students how to use technology in their language learning and their language teaching. I've got a special section for students as well with lots of videos about how they can use tools to help them study on their own. But if you're a teacher, sign up to the newsletter. In the newsletter, I send updates on all the new videos that I make, any courses I'm running, any webinars we're running, but also you get a free 14 part mini course where I send you a video every two or three days showing you some of the key technologies that teachers around the world are using in language teaching. And nearly everything that I show you is free. So it's well worth signing up to the newsletter. Right, let's move on now and then look at jumping to another level. Now, this is where the magic really starts. What I'm going to show you is you can actually feed the content that you want to work with to ChatGPT. So you could, for example, tell it, listen, I want you to ask me questions based on this website, or I want you to ask me questions based on this document or this story. And you can provide the content that you want to work with. Now, why is that so good? Well, it means that you can study it before. So for example, and we can even do this with YouTube videos. So for example, I might listen to a YouTube video study it, learn the vocabulary, make sure I understand it, and then share that with ChatGPT and say, okay, ask me questions to check my understanding. So I'm going from kind of a listening activity and studying vocabulary to speaking. Now I'm going to show you a super simple exercise now where I'm going to do it with a website. I'm just going to share the link to a website so you can imagine I could read that information on that website, absorb it, 
study any words, and then say to ChatGPT, right, let's check if I really understand everything that's on this website and all the content and what's actually been written. So this could be anything that you upload into ChatGPT to work with. Watch this video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this link. It's just a, cop a link to my website. This could be a transcript from Google, you know, trans sorry, a transcript from your YouTube video. It could be anything, okay? It could be a document, PDF file, etc. I'm going to come over to ChatGPT. All I need to do is I'm going to paste that link in first, all right? So I'm going to paste that link in, and then I'm just going to kind of upload that link. So I'm just going to click on that button there, and that will kind of upload it. What you want to do is it starts kind of grabbing the information from it, but just click on this button here. Now, I'm going to click over now, or just click once, then click again, and it'll go into voice mode. Now, give it the instruction. Now, you need to be really clear. Hi, I've just uploaded a link to a website. And what I'd like to do, I'd like you to ask me questions about the content of that website so that I can practice my English. And the idea is that we'll be kind of also doing a comprehension check because if you ask me questions, then I'll be able to prove that I've actually read and understood the, um, the all the information that's in the link. Is that okay? Ugh, really? Fine. I'll ask you questions about that website, you know, as if I have nothing better to do. But I'll help you practice, I guess. So let's start with something simple. What is the main focus of Russell Stannard's website? What kind of services does he offer to educators? I think he makes training videos to help language teachers and language students to use technology more effectively. Ugh, really? That's your answer? Wow, so insightful. You're right, I guess. Now, let's see if you're really paying attention. Now I've spent my whole life teaching languages and studying languages. And to be able to do that, to be able to give ChatGPT some specific content I've already listened to or read so I can be prepared for the conversation is absolutely fantastic because then I'm reading and then processing that language or I'm listening and processing that language. Now you might be saying to me, Russell, but where do we get the transcripts from, from YouTube? There is absolutely an amazing technology, probably my favorite technology, it's called TurboScribe. And you can use TurboScribe and just literally paste in a YouTube video and it will extract the transcript and then you can paste that transcript straight into ChatGPT and talk about it. And this would be brilliant because you could do a listening activity, you could listen to the YouTube video and then have a conversation with ChatGPT about it. And that is what I'm doing. And I'm gonna share with you on the screen now, if you click on that uh, video, that's on the screen that is going to take you to the video about TurboScribe and how I use it. Okay, really hope you like the video. And if you do, please come over to teachertrainingvideos.com. There's hundreds more videos on the website. There's a really popular section on teaching and using AI. I specialize in, in making videos to help language teachers use technology. If you want to sign up to the newsletter, then that way you can keep up with all the latest videos, the free webinars that we run, the courses that we run, etc. And at the moment, if you sign up to the newsletter, there is a special 14 part free course that you'll be sent. You'll be sent a video about every three or four days that really just focuses on the most popular technologies on my YouTube channel that teachers have reacted to. And that really builds up into a really nice course and gives you a strong basis in using technology in language teaching. It's completely free and literally everything that I show you uh, is a free technology. If you'd like to have live training with me, then think about joining me on Patreon. On Patreon, for $6 a month, you get three free videos from me each month without any advertisements in them. But the important thing is those videos are connected to a monthly webinar that we have where we meet live. And we normally work with the technology that we focused on that month, or sometimes it's two technologies. And we do activities and really learn to use those technologies well, so that then you can try those out in class or online with your students. The other interesting thing about joining me on Patreon is that actually you get access to all of the backdated material. So there's over a year of videos and live training, this training is very practical with lots and lots of ideas 
about I, things that you can do in the class or online with your students teaching languages. So it's much more practical than the YouTube videos and you get that as part of the $6 a month. Okay, I'm gonna leave some more videos on the screen that I think you might find useful.